All right, so in order to be successful in this course, we are going to be utilizing what is called a virtual machine. Now, virtual machines are known as VMs for short, and a VM is just a machine on top of a machine. And to give you an example, I'm actually running this Windows 10 instance that you see here on top of my Windows 10 instance. So here you can see if I scroll up that I have a Windows 10 machine. I also have a Linux machine sitting here. If I were to uh, demaximize this, you can see that I'm actually running here a Windows machine in the back. Uh, this is my wife and I. And you come through here, we just blow it back up and we're back inside of our machine. So a virtual machine is just a machine inside of a machine. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be utilizing this to build out labs. That way we don't have to actually have a bunch of hardware. We can just use this for our, our course and run what we need to on top of our own machine already. Now this can get resource intensive. So if you are only utilizing something like eight gigabytes of RAM, then you might have some issues with this, but you can still follow along. When we get into the Active Directory portion, you might run into issues if you do not have at least 16 gigabytes of RAM to utilize. Uh, but we'll worry about that when we get there. There are still plenty of ways to follow along throughout this whole course. So another thing to note is that I use VMs every single day. This machine that you see here is actually my day-to-day -day pen testing machine. So I run a Kali Linux instance on top of my Windows machine and utilize that to do penetration testing. So I'm going to demonstrate that to you and how we're going to build out our labs with that. And a lot of us in the industry run through VMs as opposed to running it directly on metal or on a machine. So in order to utilize virtual machines, we first need some sort of virtual machine software to play these. So there are two different ways that we can do this. If you are on a Windows machine or a Linux machine, you can utilize VMware Workstation Player. Now, if you type in VMware Workstation Player in Google, the first one here that says download VMware Workstation Player, you just click on that. And if you are in a Mac environment, you're going to be utilizing Oracle VirtualBox. So if you type in Oracle VirtualBox, you come here and you go to downloads, you have your option there as well. So in this course, I will be using VMware Workstation Player. I'm going to be running it on top of Windows. If you are using Mac, that is absolutely fine. You're going to be following along just the same. All you need to be able to do is uh, follow the same instructions that I give you and you will be A-OK. -okay. So if you scroll down here, you can see try Workstation Player for Windows or try Workstation Player for Linux. Go ahead and just select Download Now. That should bring up a download and go ahead and save it. If you're doing VirtualBox, go ahead and download uh, for OS X. I will download the Windows version just so that we can uh, we can see what that looks like as well. So I'll save both of these. So let's view our downloads and we've got VMware Workstation Player here. I'm going to go ahead and open this one. And we're going to install this. And this will be very point and click. So next, accept the agreement, possibly give away our first child. Uh, yeah, we should go ahead and in install the enhanced keyboard driver while we have this. And then we don't need to enjoy join any improvement programs or check for product update. That's OK. We will install desktop, start menu. You check, check your preferences as you like it. I'm just going to install this. And this should just finish here in just a second. OK, then you'll be brought to this screen once everything's done. It should take about a minute or two. And we're going to go ahead and hit Finish. And it's going to want a restart to take effect. You can go ahead and restart your system. I'm going to say no right now. Let's go ahead and install VirtualBox if you are a Mac user. We'll hit Next. Next here. Next. And yes. And install. Accept. And again, very point and click with the installation. Select install and any options that do pop up. And then we can start Oracle VM if we want. Let's go ahead and just start that. This is what Oracle VM looks like. And let's see if we can start the VMware player here, even though we need a restart. And this is what VMware Workstation player looks like. 
So here you could see that we have virtual machines. We can create new virtual machines, open ones, etc. We'll get into that in the next video. So again, if you are using Windows or Linux, this is probably what your view is going to look like for the rest of the time. If you are using Oracle on a Mac, this is what your view is going to look like. Uh, another side pro tip here is that I am using Workstation Pro and I might utilize this in some instances throughout the course. Uh, other instances, I'll be utilizing the Workstation Player. They are not much of a difference, especially in the beginning. When we get into the Active Directory portion, it might actually be worth it for you all to download the VMware Pro trial because the trial is 30 days and you can utilize that to get through some sections and actually have nice little windows here uh, to to be clean and just have a pro edition. Uh, you can do everything that I'm going to show you in the course on the player. It just is that you have to open if you want to run more than one machine, you'll just have to reopen the VMware Workstation player uh, several times to run multiple machines, but that's okay. It just won't look like this nice clean layout where you can transfer between machines like I can do just here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the next video. We're going to be installing Kali Linux onto our VMware workstation player.